It was an open invitation today. Reno police officers invited residents near Wells Avenue for some coffee. As John Potter reports, these Cup with a Cop events have a goal, and that's to bring neighbors together for a crime-free community. They usually hear about speeders, noise, vandalism in the homeless. What was the police chief's favorite meeting? The young mom who just came over to say hi. She just came out to meet the police department. With it the was, baby. It was, with the baby. Yeah, the whole, uh, her, her husband, and their child, and it was, it was special. This is the first of four Cup of the Cop gatherings of the year. They are casual, friendly gatherings. The goal, of course, neighbors getting to know the officers and officers developing a bond with them. At the same time, supporting local business. I'm married to a police officer, and I'm the daughter of a police officer. Which made Destiny Sanford's Code Coffee Shop on Wells Avenue a natural choice for today's meetup, though the next meetup in April will be at a Starbucks. You know, when you go and you meet friends over a cup of coffee, you just talk about life, talk about things in general, and that's really what this is about. Officers heard complaints about bad drivers. Careless driving or aggressive driving, reckless driving. And questions about joining up. We hear a lot of people asking about job opportunities, which is fantastic. But Kelly Anderson came asking about a family problem. My son, who was very successful and a graduate here in Reno, ended up going down that dark hole of drug addiction. At the last Cup with a Cop, she got some advice. Kelly got her help and found where to go. With her son now sober, she let Officer Angelo Hafala know what worked. She gave me insights on some resources that is very valuable to the community. It's like a feedback loop. It's like saying, I got answers, I got even better answers, and now this is where my son is. Each learned something from the other. Just one contact today out of dozens. Oh, and who paid for the coffee? The police did. The donuts, too, of course. Covering the story, John Potter, 2 News. And the next Cup with a Cop will be at the Starbucks on Collin Parkway, April 17th from 8 to 10 a.m. We'll be sure to remind you as we get closer.